Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're going to talk about guidelines, so stick around. A guideline is nothing more than a piece of cordage used in conjunction with an anchor point, like that stake right there in order to tighten up or secure an object. In this case, it's a shelter. So why use guy lines? Well, at some point you're gonna to want to either secure or tighten up your tent, tarp, or rain fly, either prior to inclement weather or immediately afterwards. And inclement weather meaning wind, rain, or snow, or a combination of all three. And having guy lines will actually help you do that a lot faster. Now connecting these guy lines is extremely simple. So what I'll do is I'll show you a couple methods that I personally use, but please keep in mind there's probably about 50 other ways that you can do this. Now one real simple way of attaching your guy line to your tarp is to go ahead and find your corner grommet and then tie a bowline, which is nothing more than a fixed loop at the end of a piece of cordage. Pass it through that grommet, just like this. Now reach inside, pull it through. And what you've done is you created a running bowline, just like that. Another real easy method is to go ahead and take a toggle and your bowline, pass it through your grommet, then back it off a little bit so just the top part of your loop is showing. Take your toggle with a V-notch in it, slide that over, and then pull it tight. And as my personal favorite, two half hitches. So all you're going to do is run your cordage up underneath, take your end, wrap it around, back through and down just like this then go ahead and wrap it around and back through one more time so it looks like this now all you're going to do is pull it tight just like that At this point right here, we got our guy line tied off to our grommets. Let's go ahead and move on down and work on our anchor point. One way to go ahead and add tension to your guy line is a tire trucker's hitch. So all you gotta do is grab it, rotate it over, lay it on top, reach inside and pull your loop through. Place your quarters through that loop. Now to tighten it, you wanna pull it towards your stake. Just like that. From this point right here, pull it to the tension that you want. Go ahead and pinch my cordage and my loop together. I'm going to drape it over, just like that, and pull it through. And now for my personal favorite, the taut line hitch. All we're gonna do, took our guy line, and we wrapped it around our stake. You have this excess right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass it underneath, just like this. And it creates a loop right here. Now I wanna wrap on the inside of that loop twice. There's two times, just like that. Now taking the rest of this, I wanna drag it upwards, and go around it again, just like that. You got a small pocket right there. Now pass your excess through that pocket, just like this, and then pull it tight, just like that. And what happens is the excess ends up biting down on these three loops right here. So now to tighten this, all I gotta do, grab this line right here, grab my taut line hitch, and pull it. Just like that. And it goes ahead and it secures itself, 
and it won't slip. Welcome back. Once again, that was outstanding. Let's go ahead and talk about this shelter. It's a standard 5x7 canvas tarp that you can purchase at any hardware store. It's chemically treated, which makes it smell like crap. However, it makes it water resistant, not waterproof. Now, for me, this low profile shelter works. Others want a shelter that they can sit up in, and that works too. Now, the guy lines. I hope we help clarify the importance of how to tie a guy line and how to properly release or add tension to it. Thank you for your comments, views, support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the woods, have some fun, and I'll catch you next time.